Global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Stay tuned. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to Global Happenings Today. It's about time that all the agreement made between Biafran agitators and Southeastern leaders becomes public knowledge. A lot of things has happened in the time past where it was shelved and um, taken away from the public glare with the hope that things will be settled amicably and what in one way or the other there will be some sort of truce and there will be a win-win between the agitators and the Southeast leaders. But having kept Mass and American in detention for a long while, and having also realized there have been underground moves by political leaders in Southeast to undermine the agreement being held by them uh, over the issue of evil presidents or, or Southeastern uh, presidency from Southeastern extraction, those who have been in the meeting have decided to start speaking up on exactly what transpired. But before going to the news report to find out what it is and why everybody seemed to be in some sort of shock. Like and subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button beside it. You will see a bell notification icon. Please go ahead, click on it to get notified as soon as you update our channel on YouTube. Well, this was written by Evangelist Elliot Ugochuku Ugo Uko. And this is what he has to say. There's a popular picture that's been very, uh, very viral since 2017, 2018, 2019. I will describe the man in the picture so that you know exactly who we're referring to. Well, according to the man during the meeting, this is what he said. Decision by certain persons to cross the agitation militarily by invading Afaruku Ibeku, the home of the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, on the eve of the second meeting that would have ushered in peace and harmony in the land effectively derails the agreement reached with Igbo leaders who spoke with Namde Kano at several strategic meetings I personally arranged and anchored. All right, let's continue. And I'm, I'm speaking, uh, this is Evangelist Elliot Ugochuku speaking now. I, con I continue with it. He said, I vouch that Namde Kano agreed to be a peaceful roadmap. I attested that he agreed also with the Southeast Governors on the 30th of August 2017 that his demands were not all absolute. I worked extremely hard to follow through the advice of the great Serge Dr. Alex Ekweme, who consistently feared the possibility of the angry youth deciding to defend themselves and its attendant consequences. Namdekan humbly argued reasoned but eventually agreed with the religious traditional and political leaders i took him to i did not know that the politicians preferred military assault i only found out later that the politicians believed that the military assault on afaruku on the 14th of september 2017 had finally and permanently solved the problem and they deluded themselves believing they had crushed the agitation. They even believed that Nnamdekanu had been brought down until he surfaced in Israel. Today, those same politicians have quadrupled their personal bodyguards and barricaded their comfort zone with concrete slabs and heavy military hardware. The situation I worked hard to avert, the situation I worked hard to avert, and the advice of Dr. Alex Ekweme has slowly Crept in on us, and those who rejected peaceful agreement four years ago are now seen clearly. I testify that the error of judgment of 2017 is responsible for the state of trepidation and foreboding, foreboding in the land today. The Biafran agitators have no blame; they were betrayed by the political leaders who erroneously thought that the military assault would solve the problem. History will always vindicate the just. Evangelist Elliot Ugochuku Ugo, the man on the left hand side of the snap picture posted below. All right, probably I'm going to use more of the picture so you understand where I'm heading from. Now, you now understand exactly what we're talking about. Well, this is rather sad. Have you now seen that prior to this time there have been a series of meetings? 
all right that we still submitted I, I, I cannot forget also uh, the brother to Mazenam the canon that's one of Mazenam the canon family members also mentioned this sometime in and uh, sometime in I think in March or April where he explained that that the leaders South Eastern leaders should explain and tell the people the result of the meeting they had some months back, some years back, over the same issue, that what was the demand made by Mazen Amrikan over this matter? And he started listening to the demands. The demands were not much. In fact, the demands was for the good of the South Eastern region. He said, okay, table this matter, that, that if they can bring out all these demands, that they, he will stop the agitation. You know, table the matter. What was the demand? Airport, uh, seaports. Uh, he made some very lovely such that by the, by the time they open up all those seaports and airports, international airport and seaport, Southeast will become another international zone where those uh, uh, where those internal generated revenue IGR will just be increasing. Because let's tell ourselves the truth. One of the major people that do importation are the Southeasterners. Go to a Papa Wolf, go to Tinkan Island, go to uh, yeah, a Papa Wolf, Tinkan Island, some of those wolves over there in Southwest. Most of the containers you see, that's, they're all heading towards Southeast. Most of them from Lagos, between one between 100 meters, they have paid off to 120,000 for, for illegal taxation fines. Then the regular legal ones, they before you now start transporting them from that place down to South is it's, 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 it's a crazy expense. Some of them usually even lament that the money they even use to import it is lower than the money they will use to clear it from wharf down to where they need it in South East. And that this these are the things that Masan Namikan so and he wanted a better life for his people. And uh, of course the brother to Masan Namikan mentioned all they said they should deny. If that was not what they discussed, and even Masan said if they can do that for them, that's gonna stop the agitation. You know, but of course they didn't do that. This is another person, not a family to Mazen Amrikan, also coming up to say that look, he actually anchored that because of Alex Equeme. And he said, Look, if they continue this life, if the youth revolt, it will be too hard. And Akim said it will be too hard to control them because they've got strength in them. And hence they said to bring this matter. So they brought the matter with the hope that it will be resolved amicably. Hence there was you know, this um, belief system that the best way to cross an agitation or to stop an agitation is to crush it. And instead of crushing it, it became worse. Now they have a situation where it's almost difficult to talk about dialogue. You know, and if you notice very well, there seems to be this general, um, call it, should I call it, it's not quietness, that there's this look of what else again can we apply? Because you actually use the first, you use the last for your first. So what again can possibly have? Except, of course, if they will look at, if they used to look at somebody they reference, somebody they respect, someone they look up to, they'll call them, okay, guys, calm down. Can we not do this? Can we not, you know, bring down the region, uh, the southeastern region? Can we come together? Only that they need a voice to respect, a voice that can summon them and they hear. Except that we may be looking at a situation where anarchy, parallel government, is what we may be sensing here. Well, whatever the case is, we pray the wisdom of the Most High will fall upon the leaders of South East. And of course, the youth of society can find lasting peace to the issue of insecurity in South East. That's going to wrap it up. Let's put it in our conversation. We'll take. Do have a nice.